Brandon, if you would have, someone would have told you you would have thrown seven touchdowns before this game, you probably would have thought you would have won. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter on our offense. So, you know, I've said this time and time before, you know, whatever, whatever's working uh, during the course of the game. And uh, today the pass game is working pretty well. And um, that's something we're going to stick with. Obviously, we're trying to get the run game going. Couldn't really get get much going. But, um, you know, that's kind of how our offense works. So, something will be working. And uh, we'll kind of kind of stick to, with that. Brandon, given that the passing game was working so well, particularly on that last drive, you're a little surprised that they took it out of your hands? No, um, no, that's kind of that's kind of football situation. You practice all the time uh, in practice, and um, you know the smart thing to do right there is, is kill as much time as you can and, and you know take the field goal. We're we're in field goal range, so um, you know, I, I probably done the same thing. How tough is this one to take for you guys, though? Yeah, it's tough, um, but you know we we have one more one more game left this season, and um, you know it's it's going to be senior night. It's going to be a lot of a lot of seniors ready to play. A lot of emotion going on next week, and um, you know we're, we're gonna we're gonna learn from this one and move on to that one. Bittersweet to kind of break some records, but also not have it come out the way you want. Yeah, um, you know I don't even know, you know anything about the records or any of that, and uh, you know it'll be something that'll be probably be cool to look back on, you know, later in life. But you know, right now it's it's not not any of our focuses, not my focus. I mean, it's this team's focus, and um, you know, all our focus is about to turn to, to Missouri. Sprinkling Henry had five touchdowns. I talk about your better passes to that time. Yeah, tight ends were big, uh, real big, and uh, you know we we knew. Anytime we go into a game, it doesn't matter. Our tight ends are going to be mismatches for any any defense, and um, you know the way they can run and, and make plays and, and and do all and block and do all the things they do. You know, they're they're going to be a mismatch, and, and tonight, uh, you know, we're really really able to use them a lot, and they, they made big plays for me. What did you see out there def- that they were giving you defensively? The looks they were giving you that allowed the pass game to open up. Yeah, you know, I think they what they did is they brought a lot of pressure. Um, a lot of, brought a lot of pressure throughout the game, and um, we were able to pick up a lot of the pressure and. and and when you bring so much pressure to the game, that there's going to be gaps in the defense, and um, you know, we're able to do a great job picking up the blitzes and uh, guys getting open downfield, and me just putting it on them. What were they doing to stop the run? Anyway? I think it was all the pressure. Uh, again, uh, a lot of times they bring you know eight eight guys coming, and um, it's tough to block all eight and then get a crease. And um, they got to give them credit; they did a good job of, of shutting it down. But, but they were. Uh, they're leaving themselves open in the past game a little bit. As your games at Auburn and Ole Miss, where you were on the field at the last play of the game, was it tough to watch the last play of the game be a field goal as opposed to you being on the field? Well, you know, it's, you know, like I said, it's kind of something that we knew was about to come as soon as we got in inside field goal range. And um, I think we're, our goal was to get to the 20. I think we were at the 12 or something like that. So we were, we're well within field goal range and, um, you know, kind of knew what we were going to do. We are going to kill as much time as we could, try to hit the field goal so then give them a chance. But, um, Obviously, we're not that. You're used to a short week, getting ready for Missouri. Uh, how do you handle this team? You know, I think I think this team is going to be is going to be just fine. Um, you know, I think it's probably even better that it's a short week. You know, we can we can get our focus even more locked in. We know it's coming quicker, and um, we'll learn from this uh, a little bit tomorrow. We'll probably get a big jump on Missouri, and uh, you know, a lot of guys got to get some overtime in this week on their own, and and, and get their minds right and get prepared to, to play a good Missouri team. You made it on that last drive the way you were passing. I mean, I, I get playing for the field goal, but for the party that just wanted to keep throwing the ball, you, you were moving the on the field. I mean, sure, but you know that that's the smart play call. That's that's what you know. You look around. That's what any any coach would do. That's that's a smart thing to do. And um, you know, we're, like I said, we're well inside field goal range, and um, you know, they. they did a good job getting the block, and you know that's that's kind of just the the move that, that I would have done too. The yep. way Prescott was moving them, I mean, did, did you get a feeling like, hey, we got to score a touchdown every time? I know you're focused mm-hmm. on your offense you know, when you're out of the game, but what do you think it is? Obviously, a great player. Um, you know, he really does a lot for his team. Um, you know, throwing the ball, running the ball, he does so much for them, and he's a, he's a heck of a QB. And um, hats off to him the way that, the way he played and, and what he got got to to get done today. And um, you know, it's about all I can say about that. It may not have turned out the way you wanted, but you guys really gave yourselves a fighting chance coming into the second half. What was the mindset, and what do you think of the effort? The biggest thing with the, were the turnovers we got. Um, right off the gate, the, the kickoff, we got a turnover, and, and D came up with an interception. So that, that kind of momentum right there really, you know, fueled our offense to go and get quick quick scores. And, um, you know, that that's huge uh, momentum builder right there. And to have that big swing right there to begin the second half was huge for us. And, and that was the defense really coming up big for us. Getting us, getting us back in the game, and um, you know, we should have been able to close it out late.